Hi, I'm Lisa Blind. In today's video, I will give you 10 signs of a toxic relationship and also talk about what a healthy, well-adjusted relationship looks like. At the end of this video, I will also give you one question to ask yourself to determine whether you are a toxic partner. If you're watching this video, chances are you're confused not only about your partner's toxic behavior, but you might even have some concerns about your own behavior or even whether you are a narcissist or a toxic partner. The reality is that everyone brings some level of unhealthy attitudes and behaviors to their relationship. It's human nature to behave badly at times and it's also normal to test the boundaries of our relationships. But when you are in a relationship with a toxic partner, what typically happens is that you start behaving badly in response to their abusive behavior. It can bring out the worst in you and you may be left feeling perplexed by this because who you are being is not who you've known yourself to be. So while well-adjusted people can sometimes say and do harmful things, here are 10 differences between a healthy relationship and a toxic one. Number one sign of a toxic relationship is that you are constantly feeling like you're being manipulated and controlled. If things only go smoothly when you are being oppressed and dominated, it is toxic. While a normal couple may disagree, they may argue, it's not these frequent intense fights where things get chaotic and out of hand, especially when one partner is almost always coming out on top. So if it's the same partner, always winning and the same partner who is always losing, having to concede, change, apologize, try harder, fix things, it is toxic. And you may be, you know, led to believe that you're the problem, but what are the odds that you're the problem 99% of the time? Number two, you're an emotional crutch or an emotional punching bag responsible for regulating your partner's emotions and accepting that their perceptions, interpretations, feelings, wants, needs, goals, and so on are all that matter. They expect all of the support, acceptance, validation, and compassion while having little awareness or tolerance for your thoughts, emotions, needs, or suffering. In a healthy relationship, it's a two-way street and there is room for both partners, perspectives, and personalities. And there's a good balance of support, care, and consideration when it comes to the wants, needs, goals, values, and so on of both partners. There is negotiation and compromise. So while one partner may occasionally be more self-centered and focused on their own perspective and needs or goals, um, there will be occasions when Fears and frustrations are taken out on each other, but it's not a constant expectation that one partner is going to sacrifice their needs or take on the burden and blame of their partner's emotional state. Third sign of a toxic relationship is that you feel emotionally unsafe because you can't trust your partner. If you're catching them in lies and inconsistencies and feel like they're repeatedly deceiving and hiding things from you, or you just feel like you can't even share things with them because everything gets twisted and used against you later, that's toxic. Now, you may be thinking that lying, cheating, and betrayal can happen in a normal relationship, and that's true. There are times when partners can get emotionally disconnected from each other and instead of turning towards each other and finding solutions and ways to reconnect, they may engage in ways to fulfill their needs elsewhere. This can lead to the destruction of what was once a healthy, well-adjusted relationship. But the key difference here is that in a toxic relationship, there was never any real sense of psychological safety or trust other than in the very beginning during the love bombing stage. A healthy partner is not constantly lying to you, antagonizing you, pushing your buttons, making you feel like you need to suit up in emotional armor to protect yourself. 
Number four, you are being verbally attacked and regularly subjected to psychological abuse, such as projecting, denying, gaslighting, name calling, stonewalling, silent treatments, double standards, and on and on it goes. A healthy partner may at times say things that are demeaning or critical and vice versa, but it won't be a regular occurrence. In a healthy relationship, partners are not discrediting, undermining, attacking, and alienating you from loved ones. They're not smearing your name, triangulating you, or trying to damage you mentally or emotionally. So while there probably will be communication challenges in every relationship, and discussions may get heated at times, there might be elevated tones, harsh words, but generally you can express your needs, your differences of opinion, and talk to each other without being mischaracterized, attacked, and without your partner taking extreme measures to shut you down and force you to agree to see things their way. Number five, in toxic relationships, apologies may be rare or frequent, but either way, they don't lead to change. If you're seeing the same toxic behavior patterns over and over again, with or without apologies, it's not healthy. In a healthy relationship, when your partner has done something to hurt you or vice versa, there's a genuine apology. There's accountability and they make a consistent effort to correct the problem. And again, it's not always the same partner apologizing and having to change. Number six, in a toxic relationship, you feel isolated, lonely, and you feel like you have to constantly prove your love, your worth, your commitment by climbing Mount Everest every day, diffusing complex bombs, and it leaves you feeling exhausted and drained. In a healthy relationship, you don't feel like you'd be better off alone. You don't feel exhausted or like your partner is dragging you down and sucking the life out of you. Number seven, in a toxic relationship, you feel like a caged animal, getting weaker and further from your true nature by the day. You may find yourself suppressing your true self, your authentic needs, your interests, values, and you may find yourself living in an invisible cage, tiptoeing around, being passive as you try to avoid chaos and confrontation, feeling more and more desperate and trapped. Or you may find yourself getting angry, aggressive, and showing your dark side out of fear and frustration. So if you feel happier and can breathe so much easier, and you feel more like yourself when your partner is not around, it's a toxic relationship. In a healthy relationship, you don't feel suffocated and trapped with no escape. You generally feel happy about your life and about your relationship. You look forward to seeing each other, being together, while also respecting the need for some time apart and the pursuit of separate interests. You're not necessarily happy and on fire every moment of every day. I mean, life is still happening. There are still stressors, but your partner is helpful and supportive and you don't feel trapped like you're being poisoned to death by them. Number eight, if you are regularly experiencing cycles or patterns of extreme idealization and devaluation. So if your partner is building you up and then tearing you down in predictable patterns, like you're my lifesaver, you're the best thing ever, I don't know what I'd do without you, I love you more than anything, you're my soulmate, to you're the worst person in the world, I wish I'd never met you, or just criticizing and cutting you down to the core, it's toxic. A healthy partner may lose their cool and it might not be pretty, but these incidences are infrequent, they get resolved, and you don't feel like you're dealing with a, a Jekyll and Hyde. So um, where, you know, one day it's great and the next the tension is building again until you're back in the chaos and conflict. While there are highs and lows in any relationship, if your relationship feels like a giant, terrifying roller coaster ride that's no longer fun and making you sick, it is toxic. 
Number nine, you are constantly dealing with circular problems and conversations. Nothing ever gets resolved. Past mistakes are never forgiven. They're always held over your head. There is no way to redeem yourself no matter how hard you try. In a toxic relationship, you're made to feel flawed, inferior, humiliated, afraid, and problematic regardless of your efforts or intentions. And healthy partners are also bringing flaws to the relationship, um, but they're not regularly devaluing, demeaning, or making each other feel fundamentally flawed and as a failure um, as a partner or a person. Number 10, you feel like you're just hanging in there to protect the kids, um, your finances, or reasons other than your desire to be in this relationship. So if your relationship is built on guilt, obligation, fear, and doubt, it's toxic. So as promised, here is one way to know whether you are a toxic partner. So if all of your intimate relationships go off the rails and cause you or your partner to unravel psychologically and behaviorally, and you've never really had a stable, loving, trusting, long-term romantic relationship, then you do need to look at what you're bringing to the table. Recently, someone contacted me and spent the first 15 minutes telling me what a loving, generous, kind person they are and then went on to ask why all of their relationships end with restraining orders and complicated court cases. And I mean, you can only repeat the same pattern so many times without acknowledging and recognizing that you're the common denominator and realizing that there's something that you are, you know, creating or contributing to the toxicity that you're experiencing in your relationships. So if this is you, take responsibility and get the help you need to resolve these issues. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and to learn more about the signs of a toxic partner, click on the link above.